Police are investigating human remains found early yesterday evening. Human skull was found just south of West Lafayette Wastewater Treatment Plant off South River Road around 6 o'clock last night. Seth Conley has the story. Thanks, Jeff and Sue. Well, obviously this is a developing story, so we don't have all the facts in the case at this point. Police are still uh, investigating this case uh, quite quite heavily at this point. It's, from what we're told, it is a joint investigation between Lafayette and West Lafayette at this point. But here's what we know right now. It is believed that at least one person or a couple of people were in these woods right here looking for mushrooms yesterday or last evening, and they came upon what is believed to have been human remains. Now, it is not clear at this point what condition those remains were in or if it has any, uh, any connection to a missing person case from Lafayette in December of 2008 or not. But at this point, police do confirm that they don't believe there to be any danger. Uh, this is a, a skeletal remain that, is, uh, that, uh, that I view as uh, not being anything fresh. That is uh, something that is not a case for concern. Uh, not a public safety uh, matter right now for people to be worried about, but it's certainly an investigation that we, we are pursuing and looking into and, and trying to find uh, the source. At this point, you know, a, lot of, uh, a lot of diagnostics have to be done, and that's probably the best answer I can give you now without going into a whole lot of detail. Yeah, we intend to go back down today um, with human resources and with cadaver dogs and check the area further. Now, if you'll recall, Stephen Lee Smith uh, went missing back on December 6th. He was reported missing. Since then, a roommate of his, Wesley Kelly, has been arrested on a preliminary charge of murder. It is believed that uh, Kelly admitted to getting into a fight with Smith and, in fact, uh, at one point admitted to police that he had gotten into a fight and went for a walk with Smith on a railroad bridge over the Wabash River. He claims that he hit Smith in the head and that Smith fell into the Wabash River. So police have been investigating this case and have been searching for Smith's body for quite some time. Uh, and again, though, police are not confirming whether or not this has anything to do with that case, but it does, of course, make, uh, make a lot of people wonder if these two cases are related. For now, uh, from West Lafayette, I'm going to send it back to the studio, and of course, we'll keep, you, uh, further, we'll keep further developments coming as we find them out. Back to you, Jeff and Sue. Okay, thank